Yes, they give you one of them. On your formula sheet, they give you one of them. But it's not too hard to memorize. So, when do you use law of cosine? You use law of cosine when you cannot use law of sine, meaning when you don't have matching side and angle. So, for a case of sine, 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 do you have any matching side and angle? No, so use law of cosine. What about side angle side? Side angle side. You see how there's no matching side and angle? Then you use law of cosine. So here's the, again, sides. And it's like Pythagorean theorem. You add the other two sides squared, but it's minus 2 times these two multiply. And it's law of cosine, so it's times cosine of A, which is matching to this side on the other side. Okay, same thing. C squared, then you have C at the end for your angle. If you have C used here, it's A squared and B squared minus 2 AB multiplied. Yes. Yeah. Okay, so let's try number one. Always draw it. Is this angle side side? It looks like it, but it's not. You have to draw it. So always draw the picture. So here's angle A, 52. B, I can put B here. B is, side B is opposite to angle B. So 6, C then must be here, 8. See, this is not an ambiguous case. You don't have to find the height. You just got to find all the other sides using law of cosine because it's side angle side. You don't have any matching side in angles. So since angle A is given, you're going to use the one with cosine of A. So on the other side, you start with same letter, side A squared equals to B squared plus C squared minus 2. These two multiply, B, C. Then what do you do? Plug in all the values that you have. A, side A is missing. B is 6 squared plus C is 8. So squared minus 2 times 6 and 8 times cosine of angle A, which is 52. So this one is actually one of the easiest type of Low cosine problem that you will see why. You can just evaluate this whole thing on the calculator at once. And what would you do at the end? Take, yeah, get rid of the square by taking the square root on both sides. So plug everything at once. So I have 6 squared plus 8 squared minus 2 times 6 times 8. Cosine of 52, press enter. So I get A squared equals to 40.896. So then again, what do you do to solve for A? Take square root on both sides. So A equals 2. Use the exact answer. Second square root, x squared, and second negative to copy the previous answer. So I get 6.395. So are we done? No. What's the question? Solve the triangle meaning. You have to give me all missing sides and angles. So I found A, which is 6.395. And I'm missing angle C and angle B. So now I have side A, 6.395. So you can use law of cosine to do the other part. Or if you want to use law of cosine now with the matching side and angle, you can do that. It's up to you. If you want to keep practicing using law of cosine, that's fine too. But if I, if I use the law of sine, then I have sine of 52 over 
6.395 equals 2. Let's do B first. It doesn't matter, right? Same thing. Sine of B over 6. And what do you do? Cross multiply. So you get 6 times sine of 52 equals to 6.395 times sine of B. So divide by 6.395, 6.395 to get sine of B. which is 6 times sine of 52, press enter, divided by 6.395, so you get 0.739 for sine of B, yes, but we are looking for angle B, so what do you need to do? Take the arc sine inverse and again when you take the arc sine inverse sine use the exact answer don't use the rounded answer so I get second sine second negative to copy the previous answer I get 47.675 47.675 degrees So that was 47.675 degrees. So now what would you do for angle C? Yeah, if you're 100% confident that you did all these work correctly, then you will just do what? 180 minus B and A, which was 52 to get angle C, right? If you want to double check your answer, use law of sine and see whether all three angles add up to 180. That's one way to double check your work. So what do you get? What's 180 minus 47.675 minus 52? 55? 88 point? 80 point? three to five degrees so that's your C okay so there was side angle side case all right let's try side 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 case number three let's do three first so obviously there's no angle meaning you cannot use law of sine so I'll use law of cosine so does it matter which one we use? No, so I'll just start with a squared equals to b squared plus c squared minus two times these two, bc, cosine of matching angle of a, right? Then you plug it in, a squared, 32 squared plus b, Oh, equals to 32 equals to 39 squared plus 16 squared minus 2 times 39 times 16. Again, these two multiply. Cosine of 8. This one is a little more complicated than the side angle side because you have to solve for 8. Okay? So what would you do first? So we have to get rid of all these terms. So, so you can subtract first, right? So you can add these two first and subtract at once, but I like to just do them all separately. 39 squared, subtract it. Subtract 16 squared from both sides. Okay. So I get 32 squared minus 39 squared minus 16 squared oh i get negative number is that okay probably why 
you see what you need to get rid of next, you have to get rid of this negative number, right? So I get negative 753 now equals to what? The common mistake is a lot of you forget this minus sign. It's now negative 2 times 39 times 16 cosine of A. So if you're still solving for A, now what would you do to get rid of all these numbers? Divide by those three numbers. You can combine them first by multiplying and divide them all together at once, but I like to do them separately. Divide by negative 2, divide by 39, divide by 16. Okay? Divide by negative 2, 39, and 16. So how do you put that into a calculator? You can put parentheses and divide by all these multiply, but I like to just do them all separately. Negative 7, oh, you already have that here. So divide by what? Negative 2. Divide by what? 39. Divide by what? 16. Press enter. So I get 0 0.6034, what? Cosine of A. So it seems right, right? Cosine cannot be greater than 1 or less than negative 1. So then what do you do? You take inverse cosine of that previous answer. Don't use the rounded answer, use the exact answer. So I get 52.889. So you take, we took inverse cosine. So are we done? <laughs> no. We found one out of three. How lovely is this question, guys? So, but we just got to find one more angle, and the third angle we can subtract from 180. So from here, what would you do? Law, signs. I mean, unless you want to do this whole thing again with the other angle, that's fine, but I'll do... Law of sine. So sine of A, 52.889 over what was length A? 32 equals to sine of, let's do B. And what was the length of B? 39. Cross multiply. So you get 39 sine of 52.889, these to multiply, and then you divide it by 32 to get sine of B, and then you take inverse, right? Lovely, right? So I have 39 sine of 52.889, press enter, divide by 32, and then second sign, second negative to copy the answer. So I get B equals to 76.389 is B. Then what do you do for C? Yeah, subtract from 180. 76.389 minus 52.889. Then what do you get? 